Eight of Swords. When the Eight of Swords appears, you may be holding yourself back because you fear moving into the future or because you are wary of getting hurt by a new situation or maybe for no reason at all. Think through what it is you're afraid of. The truth of situations are probably much less scary than your mind is making it out to be. The Eight of Swords tells us that we must be open to defeat in order to ever possibly win. Do not fear the unknown. Many blessings reside for you there. Look at your thoughts, speech, and behavior for negativity and show that what you say and do and the choices you make affect the outcomes in your life. If you need help managing and dealing with fears, ask for it career. If you hate your work, believe that you hold the power to change your situation because you do. There may not be a whole lot that you can do to change your work environment, but that should not keep you from looking for a different, better situation if that is what your heart and spirit is crying out for. You cannot have it both ways. Either you want out of your current situation or you are prepared to put up with the way things are. Love. When we're talking about love, the Eight of Swords points to a need to seriously reevaluate a relationship. You may be sticking with someone that is actually bad for you, since you figure it's better off than nothing. If that's the case, rethink. Being in an unhealthy relationship is a lot worse than being alone. If you are single, first look at how well you love yourself. Someone else cannot come along and fix you. You need to start with yourself. Money. The Eight of Swords tells you that you need beware of self fulfilling prophecy. If you believe your bad financial luck will never change, that may be the reality that you create in your life. Think through what your skill set and options are or might be. Explore new income streams. Expect the best even as you are preparing for the worst. Health. More than anything else, when we're talking about health, the Eight of Swords points to a mind body connection, the urgency with which we all need to look at our thoughts and behaviors when we are dealing with troublesome symptoms or health conditions. We do not create every symptom or illness. Genetics and environment can play a role, but health is almost always made worse when our thinking is mainly negative or filled with anxiety. Such things